Okay. <coughs> the final portion, the final um, set of topics we're going to talk about for this first day of lecture are the 12 anatomical systems. Now, I remember when I first was teaching, it's been a long time since this happened, but a long time ago, I had a student who um, was very surprised that we, in our lab books and in our anatomy books, that we had pictures of naked people. Well, it's just, it is what it is. You can't say, well, we'll, we'll talk about 10 systems. No, we have 12 of them. Two of them, two of them are, one is female reproductive system, the other is male reproductive system. So what made me think of that is I went to page 36 and we got pictures of naked people here. So hopefully that doesn't offend you. Um, it just is what it is. We're gonna start out right here and we're gonna talk about each of these different systems. And the first one that I pointed to, and and you'll want to, quite honestly, I'm just gonna tell you right now, some of the easier questions on any of the exams that we will have in A&P will be from this material right here because it's, it's pretty basic stuff and there will be questions from it. So, so the first system is the integumentary system. So what do you need to know about that? You need to know what it is and you need to know some of the organs that are involved. So what is the integumentary system? It's your skin. That's why you got the, the naked person on there. And so you need to know, well, what, what are some of the structures in the integumentary system? Well, you've got the skin, you've got your hairs, you got your fingernails, um, all of this stuff. You have, what else is there? I mentioned a minute ago, sweating. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but uh, my hair is really short now. But um, if I don't, especially if my hair is a little longer, um, if I don't wash my hair regularly, I might say my hair is greasy or oily, right? Oily? Where does that all come from? I don't put it on there. It comes from my skin. You have something called sebaceous glands that produce oil. You have um, sweat glands that produce sweat. So all of these things, the skin, the hair, the nails, the sebaceous glands, the ceruminous glands, that's earwax, um, the oil glands, these are all structures found in your skin. Now, what is, what, why do you have that thing? Why do you have skin? Well, you have skin because you need to enclose your body. You, I mean, we are 70% water, 70%. So you have to have some way to keep all that water in. Um, you also need to have a barrier uh, it's for protection. So, so you have um, to, a container, basically. Uh, you then have a barrier. We have all these things out there. We, I mean, next time you see me, I'll have a mask on um, because of the bad stuff out there in the world. Well, your skin is there to prevent pathogens, the bad stuff. Pathogens like parasites, bacteria, fungi, viruses, to keep them from getting into your body. Uh, other functions, you know, and you might want to, I would recommend uh, reviewing these on your own, but other functions, vitamin D production. You have to have a certain amount of ultraviolet exposure to to produce vitamin D. Now, what is vitamin D for? It's for calcium absorption from the food you eat. Um, sensing your world. If I lightly touch my hair, I say, yeah, I can feel that. If I punch on myself, I can feel that too. These are important functions of the skin to, to sense your world. And uh, thermoregulation, yeah. So, so that's the integumentary system. I'm gonna turn it off, and we'll just so we don't have too large, um, too large uh, uh, files. I'm gonna turn it off and start another one, and we'll talk about the skeletal and muscular systems.